this morning I happen, happen to be watching uh, New York City television, and there are concerns about power, and Con Ed has, there's a lot of power outages in New York City again, but in addition, what's happening is the wires for the metro are lower because of the heat, which is slowing the, the trains down, and then because of the heat, the tracks are expanding, which is also slowing rail service down, and Amtrak has had a problem where they now have uh, trains, an Amtrak engine every 30 miles because uh, a train broke down and some people almost died because there was no uh, air conditioning on the cars. How, from your viewpoint, and you worry about the entire state because of your position, what do you see going on? Well, it is troubling. You know, a couple of days, this is one thing, but this has been going on for a while with no end in sight for a couple of days. And energy is an important component of life. We take it for granted, mm. as you well know. Turn the switch and it all works. Um, but we have to develop at the federal level and the state level to some extent uh, a policy that makes us more independent and more um, based on alternative to fossil fuels and um, to keep us operating. We use a lot of energy in the state. You, you know, Manhattan, a major city, mm -hmm. New York, you get just shocking, let alone, as you are saying, the, the subway stops, subway stations, and the metro trains, and Amtrak. Um, I, I think we're in pretty good shape, but uh, the verdict uh, has not been rendered on that yet either, and I hope the next few days we get past it. But it is troubling uh, because we're pushing the system, that's for sure. New York, uh, we did not know in New York until a few weeks ago whether or not there would be a racing season this year at Saratoga. Do you think um, that whole situation and Saratoga being dubious for a while has hurt the image of our state icon? Well, I always knew there'd be a racing season. and You did? Uh, oh, yeah. I okay. knew. Well I, well, I was always hoping. Yeah, that no matter what was happening budget-wise or uh, that could not, we could not let that happen. And I met with the officials from the Saratoga racetrack uh, and I assured them it'll happen. We just... It's too big of a thing for the state, and it's a national thing, too, to let this not work. And a deal was worked out, um, and uh, I think it was the best interest of not only our region, but the state, that it was worked out. The season will go on as it should. But I never thought it would happen. But there were a lot of people on both sides clamoring, you know, it's the end of the world, you know, do something, and then mm. pressuring us to do something. And um, But I never, for a moment, had a doubt that it would not happen. As you know, um, Saratoga, after setting up a promotional schedule with Rachel Alexander, has lost uh, Rachel Alexander to Mammoth, And maybe... If there's enough time between the race in Monmouth and uh, September 6th, Rachel Alexander might race in Saratoga. Do you think the whole dubious situation um, with Saratoga in New York State had an impact on that horse going to Jersey? I don't. I think there are bigger issues uh, facing the industry um, because we, we know that uh, bigger payoffs are being okay. uh, had other parts of uh, New Jersey, et cetera. So I think, and I don't know all the answers, um, even don't know some of the questions, but I, the industry is facing serious issues. Um, but I don't think whether or not we're having that season affected the, that I issue, that decision, uh, and nor do I think that um, that is the final determinative of where the industry is going, um, because it is changing. And we have to respond to that. Again, I don't know all the answers, but we're seeing a major change in the racing industry. And was, we have to be competitive. How that all works out, we'll have to see how that plays out. When I was stationed at Fort Dix, uh, New Jersey, I was in... Uh, I was stationed there, too. Okay, well, the, maybe, maybe you and I did the same thing. I was stationed in the Public Information Office at WFD Television, but they didn't have production facilities. So once a week, I would go up to uh, Fort Monmouth and do voice tracks at uh, Fort Monmouth, and I would drive past that track, and it looked to me like uh, nothing. What's happened there? It seems like it's starting to uh, steal some of Saratoga's glitter. It is. I don't think... 
it could ever, and there aren't many tracks that have the glitter of Saratoga. Sure. And the, the setting is phenomenal, the city and the whole environment. But there are other things going on in the industry that, that is stealing some of the thunder of Saratoga. And it's just not all in the setting, but it is in the working of the industry and satisfying the customer that is the key here. And in some ways, we may be missing the boat where Monmouth and other tracks are getting the competitive edge on us. Well, as you know, at uh, Saratoga, we have uh, Saratoga Harness Racing, we have Saratoga Polo, and of course, Saratoga Thoroughbred Racing. Today, driving into uh, the station, I had WABC uh, New York on, as you know, they get in locally. And they had a heavy commercial schedule for the Meadowlands. And I'm saying to myself, are they almost, is, is New Jersey like starting war with New York racing? Because, you know, Mammoth and the Meadowlands are uh, not that far from our New York City tracks. No, 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 it's the competitiveness is an issue. And um, they're certainly up in the ante and the pressure is on us. With the industry, we can't do it alone as a state right. of the government but with the industry to evolve a policy that makes us stronger than we currently are. We regulate a lot of things, right. uh, but we don't make it up. We do it in uh, reply to an issue that is of some importance, like the fireworks ban, which I fully support, or uh, the continuing to ban martial arts in the state, you know, which I support that ban as well. But we are more tightly regulated, and we do spend more. There's no question about that. And uh, we certainly haven't raised the broad-based taxes in a number of years. And in fact, the state income tax level is down now compared to what it was. And Governor Pataki led that charge many years ago. But we do, we're charging more for cigarettes now and uh, avoiding the broader-based taxes to generate some revenue. And it's an issue and continues to be uh, in terms of what we do in, in taxing. And uh, we got past this budget deficit without major increases but it's still it's still an expensive operation. One of the we spent a couple of days in Buffalo on the way back, and first of all, I had heard that Buffalo was like this economically depressed place, and it was beautiful. You know, it's it's like getting a bad image, like some people do that about Troy, and it's Troy's a very nice city. But one thing I did notice, we went into a McDonald's, and it was probably the best McDonald's I was ever in in the United States of America, because you could tell that these were people that were executives and they wanted employment and they ended up being there and it was running smoothly. Is there any sign that we're gonna be less of a service economy in New York State or is that gonna continue? Yeah, I'm afraid I think it continues both good and bad. Certainly the western part of the state in Buffalo was a manufacturing center and a powerhouse for many, many years. Um, and that's changed now as we've lost our manufacturing base. And I don't see it going back to that. It just may take a different sort of manufacturing, like here in the Capital District, our stressing of high tech, you know, the concept of tech valley, right. where things are being produced, microchips and things of that nature. But the workforce must also be accordingly well-trained and educated and it's a different population altogether that these jobs uh, relate to. So while we're being successful here, in this area at least, uh, in attracting companies and building that sort of manufacturing center uh, and, and, and arena, the skills are different than if you're working with a steel company, et cetera. 